Zen is special in many ways from other traditions of the mystics. But the one thing that stands out very unique is a strange a small dialogues just reading them you cannot find how those small dialogues can bring enlightenment to someone. Secondly, Zen gives no explanations itself. That is one of the reasons a living tradition of enlightenment has not overtaken the whole world. I would like you to understand those small dialogues which apparently mean nothing. But in a circum, certain circumstance produced by other Zen methods, they can bring awakening. The dialogues are remembered down the centuries. And the people on the path of Zen enjoy them immensely. But for outsiders, they remain anathema. Because the context is never told. In what reference the awakening happened, is never discussed. Behind these small dialogues there is, there is a long discipline of meditation, understanding, maybe years and years of work. But only the dialogue is known to the outside world. You don't know the men who are discussing with each other. They are not ordinary people. The awakening is possible only if they have a background which can make the small piece of dialogue which in itself is nothing. Of tremendous importance. But when you read it, you cannot believe how these Dialogues can make somebody enlightened. And you are reading them and you are not becoming enlightened. So something is not in your perspective. My effort will be 
to give you the whole context. and not only to explain the words of the Dala, but the individuals who are engaged in these small dialogues. Only then you will see they are not small things, they are the very optimum. Those people have reached to the last point. These dialogues are just a little puss. They were almost ready. It can be said that even without these dialogues, they were going to become enlightened maybe a week later. These dialogues have cut not more than one week from their being enlightened. All around the world, now that Zen has become fashionable, And there are so much written about it. And nobody I have come across up to now. And I have seen almost everything that has been written about Zen by people who don't have any enlightenment, but who are impressed by the beauty of the people who have been following sin. So they have picked up things which make no sense, are almost nonsense. And they don't have the capacity to give you the background. And remember, everything depends on the background. The long years of preparation are there. Long years of waiting, longing, long years of silent patience, meditating, and this dialogue comes at the apex at the very end. If you can understand the whole process, then the dialogue will be explained to you that it can bring enlightenment to someone. Without knowing the whole process, Zen will remain just entertainment in the world. What is enlightenment to the Zen people falls down into a state of entertainment. These are not the whole thing. It is just like an iceberg. A small piece is swaying above the sea. One-tenth of the whole iceberg. Nine-tenths is underneath. And unless you understand that nine-tenths 
this one-tenth will not give you any insight. 